What's going on you guys? Uh, today I'm here back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys my Bakugan collection and then uh, putting them back away. So first I'm going to show you guys my Subterra Wilda. This is my first Bakugan uh, that I'm going to be showing you guys. That's my Subterra Wilda. Obviously it's not the first one that I got, but I just recently got it in the mail and thought it was a pretty cool Bakugan. Alright, secondly, I have my Fade Ninja. It's a Ventus Fade Ninja, so uh, there you go. I got a big collection, so I've got to uh, kind of try to wrap it up fast. So, yeah, if I'm going a little quick, you guys know why. Alright, next we have my Blade Tigrera. Alright, there you go, Blade Tigrera. We have my Diamond Trox, which is one of my favorites because, you know, it's Diamond Trox. How can you even go wrong? Like, you know, Diamond Trox is Diamond Trox, you know. Uh, here's another diamond. I forget his name, but he's a really rare diamond. Very great Bakugan to own, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, next, I believe this is... Diamond Pegatrix, uh, Chaos. So there you go. And we've got... Oh, I forget his name too, but he's a Diamond Ventus back, you gone. As you can see, he's very cool. Did I show him off a little bit for you guys? So there you go. Uh, next, we have a Pyrus Stinglash from the original series, which is very neat and very cool. So there's Pyrus Sting Lash. Uh, as you can see, I have this El Condor doll as well up on my shelf, sitting up here. So, yeah. I forget this guy's name, but he's Aquas. Um, He's very similar to Aquas Brontes, but I don't think that's his name, but, uh, yeah, he's one of the ones in New Vestroia, I believe, so he's a very good one. I really like his red eyes and his, the way the gold looks on blue is always nice, so that's an Aquas one from New Vestroia. This is actually my very first Bakugan right here. He's got, as you can see, he's got 300... Lars Leon is its name, and it's got 310 Gs, and it's a Chaos from the original series. Next, I will be showing you guys my Chaos B Striker, and it has, let me see how many Gs it has, I'm not exactly, 430 Gs, which is pretty strong for that time, so uh, yeah. It's my Chaos B Striker. I think this is an Evolution of Wilda, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I forget his name, but it's a Chaos. And as you can see, it's really powerful at uh, 610 Gs. And next. Forget this guy's name too, but I know he's very popular. I think it's something very simple. I just forget the name. Eventually, once I, like, get enough of them, I'll remember quite a few of them. But right now, I'm kind of collecting quite a bit of the new set. As you guys have seen, I've shown you guys quite a bit of the new set compared to the old. There's my Darkest Halcor. I really enjoy Halcor. It's one of the first ones that got me into the new series. So, uh, yeah. Next, uh... Damn, I can't even remember his name off the top of my head. And he's one of the... Hydrus. Hydrus. He's a lion. He's a Aquas. Bakugan. So there you go. This is a Brontes... Uh... He's some type of fox. But he's a rare one as well. I just recently got him as well. I really like him. I just can't think of his name off the top of my head. I might have to give you guys an updated video once I remember all their names. 
This is also Bronte's Bakugan. Uh, I honestly forgot his name as well, which kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can change that. Nah, that makes it worse. Never mind. <sighs> kind of getting some uh, feedback. So... I really enjoy the metal set though. This is Colossus, I know his name. And this is the not diamond version because it's got the blue. But I do have the diamond as well. Here's the diamond Colossus, which I just recently achieved as well in my Bakugan collection. Next, we have uh, Darkest Nilius, which is very rare, but He's the black version, but as you can see, he's pretty hollow, translucent, so that's nice to see every once in a while, because it's kind of hard to get your hands on the translucence. I mean, in the newer set, they got some great ones if you're just willing to hunt for them at Walmart or something. There you go. This is uh, Fly Striker from the original series, and he's Pyrus. So there you go. And by the way, I'm not willing to sell any of my collection, so please don't ask. Uh, here's the red version of that one guy that I showed you guys. Yeah, he's almost like a bird. I really love my collection, so please just don't at me when it comes to uh, selling. Ventus Nilius, which is very interesting to see from the original Bakugan Battle Planet. He's a very old one in my collection in terms of the new ones, but... Every once in a while, it's cool to collect some of the old ones, you know? So you have kind of diversity in your collection. So, yeah. This one's a trap. I forget his name. But he's very cool how he comes out that much. So, yeah. Next is a... Hydra's... What do you, Arcelius. This is a Hydrus Arcelius type. So, as you can see, I had the Aquas and, um, I don't know what you call it, but, yeah. Here's my next back you got on. This one's Ventus Trox, translucent. Next, we have Arcelius Pegatrix. Pegatrix Ultra, I believe. And, uh, yeah, like the evolution, it's in the yellow version instead of the translucent diamond that I showed you. It's cool to have the diamond as well, though. Another die-cast metal. Ultra Drago. Which is very cool as well, very rare. Uh, I really like the die-cast metal ones lately, I've been trying to collect more of those. But, uh, I still like the ones that are plastic, or even the diamonds every once in a while, even though they're just plastic, you know. I might pick those up every once in a while. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we have Darkest Trox, which is kind of cool to see him in Darkest form. He didn't pop properly. I'm going to try to get him to pop properly for you guys right now. There you go. There he goes. So that's Darkest Trox. Almost through all of them. Then we have a couple traps. Uh, the triangle traps from back in the day. As you can see, if you put them back into their ball... They're a triangle. So they kind of open up and take up the whole core, which is kind of interesting on the new set. Because then people can't attack that core anymore, okay? Next, we have a Jumping Darkest Translucent uh, Gortheon in the Darkest format. So that's a very nice one to see. You don't see him a lot anymore. He was more popular in the old series, but yeah. And then again, the Triangle Trap. And then just recently I required the Pyrus version of the trap, which looks very nice. As you can see the Pyrus symbol, there's that. I believe that's where you could connect them. I'm not sure though on that because they're traps, but there you go with the nice blue eyes. You can see all the symbols that you can change into as well. So there you go. There's the diamond or there's the triangular trap. This one's almost like a small canister, but his transformation is very cool as well. He almost whips his tail out. To this very large cool one. I'm getting the diamond very soon of this guy. And I'm very excited about that as well. Which is very cool. So yeah. Okay next. 
we have um, Ventus, a Ventus trap, and it's shaped like almost like a hexagon, I want to say. So yeah, he's pretty cool when you pop him open. There he is, he's almost like some type of insect. I forget his name as well, but uh... Um, yeah, I'll probably do another review some other day. It's kind of late where I live, so I'm just trying to kind of uh, get through all my traps and things left that are left, because this video is kind of running along at this point. But yeah, I'm only at 11 minutes, so I'm not doing too bad. Uh, this one's Ghost Beast. Aquas, I remembered his name because he was one of the first couple that I got, so I remember Ghost Beast. He helped me kind of get it going in terms of, like, collecting traps and things like that. Then this one is Titan King. He came as well with Ghost Beast when I bought him in almost like a set together because I was collecting my first couple of traps. Just so I could get back into the traps because I wanted some of the ones with kind of unique shapes, like, for example, he's a square. So yeah, and he's... One of the only square, I think he's, I believe he's actually the only square one that I have. I have a lot of other unique shapes, but not any other squares yet. But I'm hoping to, like, broaden my collection as I continue showing you guys throughout my YouTube videos. And it's definitely getting there. I had to get a bigger box for my collection just recently, so that was nice. Okay, here we have Translucent Chaos Pegatrix, not the Ultra version, but it is the Translucent version, which makes it somewhat rare. It's not as rare as Diamonds, but it's still got some rarity to it, and what's nice is you can find a lot of the Translucents as 5 below, and it's pretty consistent when it comes to that. I'm a little upset that they moved the aisle to a different area, but yeah, I'm always down for a trip there, you know, and just to look around and what have you. There's the translucent orange Drago, which is very nice that I have the orange variant. Very cool to see. Uh, pretty hard to get your hands on the orange variant, so I was very happy to find him. He was, you know, somewhere in the middle of my collection when I got him. He's a very cool one. I really enjoy him, so yeah. I really enjoy the Dragos. Not as much as the originals, but I still do enjoy them. And here's the red version. Which is a little easier to come by. You can find multiple copies of these at 5 below in the translucent red. In the translucent orange, I believe I found at local Walmart. Or maybe it was a Target. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, yeah, there's the, the orange version looks very nice as well with the red version. And the fact that I can get as many red versions at the right local place. And those jumping Gorthions are very cool as well from 5 below. So uh, I'm very happy about that. Uh, I have a very rare Arcelius Drago, which is very cool to see. The Arcelius version, because he's like gold and silver, which is a very cool color difference between the three. So I think it would be very cool to like try to collect Dragos, you know, since I already have three. So that's the three different color variants, which is very nice. Very nice. You know, I appreciate all of them. And I actually, this is a Bakugan that I have the diamond version coming in the mail. And also, I'll update you guys when I get my Mega Dragonoid. Because I have the Ultra one that you can connect multiple Bakugan to make one huge one coming in the mail. And even I could switch out certain Bakugan to make him multicolored, which will be very cool as well. But yeah, I have the diamond, like, clear version of Insectanoid, or Sectanoid, I believe his name is coming but here's the normal version of sectonoid which i recently acquired at walmart which is a very nice bakugan as well i really enjoy this bakugan uh absolutely one of my favorites uh he's almost like an insect like bee striker here which i really enjoy bee striker as well and this is my last bakugan in my collection eventually i'll do a broader collection video of uh, my cards as well as well as which Baku cores I have which this is what a Baku core looks like if you guys didn't know so uh, I can show you guys some of the power levels and go more into depth about the gameplay as well as the cards and the ability cards and the new gate cards that came out which I was very excited about because it reminds me of the reminiscent antique ones from the original Bakugan series which you can see here so uh, yeah some of the ideas of making one into a triangle, just such unique ideas from the original series. I'm just hoping that, like, it doesn't fail like the original series and it succeeds this time. Because Bakugan is just such a neat hobby and I will not stop collecting, even if they discontinue. 
because it's just such a unique thing and to see that the prices are going up and down is kind of interesting but I like to see it go down because just, you know, just the market value of things is ridiculous anymore to get something. So, uh, yeah, here I'm showing you guys my last insectinoid, or sectinoid. Uh, it's a Ventus Bakugan. It's absolutely one of my top ten favorite Bakugan. So, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Insectinoid, which he's got these crazy wings, if you can see. He's a very cool one, so... Uh, yeah, I might even tell you his G power here. It's uh, 100, so he's not the strongest, but he's definitely one of my favorites in terms of aesthetic. So, uh, yeah, there you guys go. And even the paint is very cool, very bright. Almost reminds me of the Bakugan Battle Planet paint, because I just I love to reminisce on the old Bakugan and look at some of the, like, art on them and stuff. Like, I have a deep appreciation. So, uh, yeah... That's my entire Bakugan collection. Now to show you guys all of my Bakugan that I just opened up for you guys. Just to show you the absolute huge mass. And I got more up here. See? And one of my minifigures right there. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, I'm a huge fan. That's my checklist. So I know which ones I already have. So I can continue checking them off the list. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy Bakugan. And also, here's my huge... Yellow Lego Thanos, um, Lego Marvel set, which you guys saw throughout the video as my background almost. So, uh, yeah. Um, that'll be all. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Peace out. Please subscribe and like.